we incorporated STEADY into our clinical workflow by first building it into the electronic health record. This alerts the nurse when the patient is due for screening, and then the nurse can ask the questions based right on the template in the electronic health record. And if the patient is found, based on those questions, to be at increased fall risk, then she alerts the clinician. The clinician then does the clinical assessment and institutes the treatment plan. So we instituted a team approach in order to address the STEADY program. Since starting the screenings, we have done them at least annually in all our patients above age 65. And for those that we find to be at increased risk of falling, we implement the treatment recommendations of the STEADY program. At my own clinical site, we went back and looked at the incidence of uh, vertebral, pelvic, and femur fractures prior to implementation and looked at the rate since implementation. And on our initial analysis, we found that the, that the fracture rates that I mentioned have decreased in the range of about 30 to 40 percent. The biggest recommendation I would give to anybody implementing study is to first of all take a close look at the algorithm and find a way that it will fit into your clinician's practices. It helped in my instance that as a physician I was able to do this in my own practice first before I rolled it out to our entire system and when we went out to other sites to bring them up on steady I could tell them that this does work, it does fit into your clinical workflow, I'm already doing it.